Hello! Happy Wednesday, everybody! My name is Ollie with Mega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here this evening. We are going to be playing some general knowledge trivia here in just a couple minutes. Before we go any further, just in case this might be your first time playing, make sure that in addition to being here on YouTube so that you can hear and see me ask you the questions, you also join our online interactive trivia game. It's very simple. Just go to the website you see here, online.begoftricks.com and enter in the code TRICKS2, that's T-R-I-C-K-S-2. Once you are there, you'll see a screen that looks a little bit like this. It's gonna ask you for three pieces of information. So just a quick clarification, if you clicked on the link to get to the website, you won't have to type in that code. It'll bring you directly to this screen that you see here. And it's gonna ask you for three pieces of information. The first is going to be your name. That can be your name your team name, a nickname, whatever you want. That's what's going to be on the, the standings board tonight. Secondly is the state that you're playing from. If you're here in the United States, uh, if you're not, just let us know what country you're playing from. We just do this for fun to see where we have individuals joining us from. And last but not least is your Bank of Tricks loyalty program number. If you don't have one, you can sign up for free. There's a link in the description of this video. It's a free program that allows you to earn points when you do win trivia here with Bank of Tricks. In return, for Taco Bucks, which I will show you here in just a second. If you have that number, put it in. If you don't, sign up in the description. There's someone saying it's word. It's, the audio is weird. Audio's weird. Can, should I test it? Um, or it be too echoey? Hang on one second. Like he's in a, like you're in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> like he's in a tunnel. <laughs> uh, we're, I, you know, I know probably what's happening and I need to reset my streaming system really quick. So give me one second. The page is going to go blank for one second, but I'll be right back. All right. Uh, we should be better. Let me know if it's not. Um, I was actually messing around with some audio stuff. Hopefully it's sounding better now. Let me know before I continue otherwise. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I wanted to just play and say, no, it must be your heads, get them checked out, but no, we're here for you guys. Um, so anyway, definitely more bass, all right. That's what I've worked my whole life for, it's Julie. All about that bass. All about that bass. Uh, so once you've got those three pieces of information in though, go ahead and click on go, you'll see this screen and you're all set. There's nothing else that you need to do. We'll get the game started here in just a couple minutes. Still waiting for people to join and giving people time to join uh, properly so that they're in both games. In the meantime, I'll introduce myself again. My name is Ollie with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here. You've already heard her. My wife, Gina's in the room. And special guest tonight, Sushi Taco. Taco <laughs> is here in a brand new costume that I believe was sent to him via his secret Santa. Secret Santa. Uh, I can't say for sure, but we didn't order it. And it was on his secret Santa wish list, so I'm assuming... This is Taco. He is a delicious sushi. So thank you to his secret Santa. We don't know who it is. We'll find out eventually. Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And to everybody involved in the Vega Trick secret Santa, thanks for being a part of that. All right. Where we are. So welcome once again. Tonight's trivia is general knowledge trivia, and I'm going to explain all how the ga uh, game works here in just a second. But you heard me mention earlier, we are playing for prizes in the form of Taco Bucks. This is what you can earn excuse me, if you finish in first, second, or third place tonight, those taco bucks are added directly to your Begatrix loyalty program number. That's why we recommend you sign up for one of those if you don't have one. With taco bucks, you can turn them in for real life prizes like Begatrix merchandise, 90s and 2000s pop culture merchandise. We have beer and brewery prizes. There's much more than I have on this small little infographic here. Um, so do that if you haven't already joined 
and earn yourself some taco bucks and some prizes down the road. Uh, tonight's game is sponsored by Downtime Coffee out of Lockport, Illinois. You can find them on Instagram at Downtime Coffee. Roasting locally roasted out of Lockport, Illinois coffee. Uh, it, the coffee's not from Lockport, Illinois, but we roast it. They roast it here. <laughs> Who put Gina near the drum set? Um, it's a request. Uh, it's true. There is uh, delicious coffee being roasted this weekend, from what I've been told. Uh, I understand from the owner of Downtime Coffee that they just ordered about 60 pounds of new beans. So they have many, many different new beans, and some of the favorites that have already been roasted and sent out are coming back. So keep an eye out for that. There will be an email list started soon, so you'll be able to sign up and get information uh, ahead of everybody else, which also means you can get your order in and make sure you get coffee ahead of everyone else. So thank you, Downtime Coffee, for sponsoring tonight's event. With that said, tonight's event is General Knowledge Trivia, as I mentioned, but this is not the only event we have left this week. We also have General Knowledge Trivia on Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Next week, we have a full lineup of events again, uh, and some of you might have seen, saw? Some of you might have seen? Seen? Uh, on Facebook that I did load um, uh, our special themed event for next week we'll be doing on Friday the 11th the office trivia uh, so that's coming up it's gonna be all about every season of the office but with a emphasis on the Christmas episodes due to the time of year um, if you didn't know the office will be leaving Netflix at the end of the year so get that final rewatch in I'm sure many of you own the DVDs anyway I think it's going to Peacock right, um, yeah where many things are going so uh, we're going to do one last office trivia while it's still on Netflix here on the 11th. Make sure you RSVP on Facebook because we post updates uh, and let you know about fun stuff that's coming up with that as well. With all of that said, we are going to get in tonight's game, so let me pop up into the corner. One last reminder, if you haven't yet joined the online game, online.vegatrix.com. Enter in that code TRIX2, T-R-I-C-K-S-2. Enter in that information, and you'll be all set to go. So tonight's game, as I mentioned, is general knowledge trivia questions about anything and everything some of them will be simple some of them will be tough but they're all worth a different amount of points and you're going to earn points if you're correct the individuals with the most points at the end of the game earns taco bucks so how it works for the first round of questions tonight it's multiple choice what that means i'm going to ask you a question and once i start the question timer you'll have 25 seconds to answer in order to answer the multiple choice question, all you have to do is click on either A, B, C, or D to the tune of which one you believe is correct. One of them is always correct, three of them are wrong. If you click the correct answer, you're going to earn up to 150 points, but that is based on how quickly you answer. It starts at 150 points, and as the timer ticks down, so does the point value. So it's not only important to be correct, but you also wanna be correct as quickly as you can. However, there are a few things to note. First and foremost, once you click an answer, you cannot change it. We do one question at a time, and if you click on A for the first question, you won't be able to switch that to B, C, or D. Uh, however, on the flip side, if you are unsure of an answer, if you have no idea the answer to a question, you can take a guess at any time because you don't lose any points if you're wrong. So there's never a reason not to answer. Uh, always take a guess, take a stab at it. Uh, you may surprise yourself. If you're still wondering how the game works, that's okay because the very first question that we're about to do here is a practice question. It's not worth any points. It is just here so that you can see how the system works before we actually start the game. Um, so with all of that said, we're gonna get this pulled up on the screen here in just a second. Thank you everybody for being here tonight. I see you guys are already chatting like crazy on YouTube. If you're new uh, to Megatrix Trivia here on YouTube, you can chat with everybody in the community here on the live chat either on the side of your screen or below the video on your phone. Hey Jess, Jen, John, Becky, Julie, Stephanie, Sarah, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hey Alvin, hey Jedi, Mr. Rice Krispie, welcome back. Lots of people out here tonight. Welcome, hey Amy, hello. Maribeth Lens, nice to see you in the chat again. Nice to have you here. Hey Becky, Steph, another Steph. Steph H, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Mary B, how you doing? All right, everybody is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time, we're very glad that you're here and I hope you have some fun. Here comes the very first question of the game. What is the name of your host today? That's me. Again, this is just a practice question. It's not worth any points. So don't worry if you don't know the answer, just take a stab at it. What is the name of your host 
today is my name Turk Todd Ali or JD Turk Todd Ali or JD what is the name of your host today I haven't read anything that you guys are actually saying I just glad, glanced glad through the names did Ali get a haircut he did not but he put something in his hair for the first time in months you know it's the extent of my trying today and I got these are uh, not prescription glasses these are blue light glasses since I stare at a computer approximately 12 hours a day decided to try and save my eyesight so proud of you taking care of yourself thank you so much uh, everybody's in three people said Turk two people said Todd four people said JD 34 people correctly said Ali that is my name if you had answered C and this was worth points you would have earned points but again it wasn't this one's just for fun now the questions really start mattering um, again some of them will be simple some of them will be tough they're not in any particular order in terms of difficulty and last but not least the pictures or the gifts that you see next to or above the questions do not um, they're not there to, to be a hint or a tip they're just there for fun like dr. Cox laughing at you not meant to be a tip just there for fun here we go question two cheers everybody so uh, what boots known for their air cushioned soles were beloved by punk and goth kids of the 1980s what boots known for their air cushioned soles were beloved by punk and goth kids of the 1980s is it fry Converse, Doc Martens, or Vans? Make your list if you don't want to get poked. Oh, early, early Facebook. I'm posting something for me and Amy Ryan. Take a look at it. Mm. Thank you. Could you remind me? Because I haven't either. Oh, maybe someone has used. Hey, Ali, make your list. Thank you. I'll Check do it, it twice. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> One person said fry six people said vans. You had vans, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Thirty-eight people said Doc Martens, and Doc Martens were the correct answer. Good job. If you put that, you got points. And thirty-eight of you did, which means eighty-four percent of you did, which is a social in my books. Cheers, everybody. Completely optional, but we're just socialing to celebrate you guys answering well. Question number three in two thousand twelve. What movement was created as an international day of charitable giving to juxtapose the spending on Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Is it Thankful Thursday, Buy Nothing Day, Green Monday, or Giving Tuesday? Buy Nothing Day. That's everything. <laughs> yeah, right? Except I just ordered something on Amazon right now. Well, like two minutes ago. Before this started. I wasn't shopping and streaming. That's fair. <laughs> There's something for the stream. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. And this is actually awesome. This is a double social. Every single person that answered got it correct. This was Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday yesterday. Cheers, everybody. Uh, speaking of, I didn't mention this earlier. Now that Giving Tuesday is over, and I hope you gave to a very deserving organization yesterday, uh, I will just shout out down at the bottom of our screen. You see three links, Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. If you feel so inclined and you'd like to tip your host tonight, that's me, or donate to Bag of Tricks Entertainment, that's us. All three of those links go directly towards Bag of Tricks Entertainment and help us continue to put on these live streams for you for free for as long as possible. Um, so thank you very much to those of you that have already donated. Um, it really means a lot to us and it helps us pay for the platforms that we use to host the trivia that we're doing for you right now. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Those links will be here all night if you feel so inclined. All right, question number four. The final line of which classic novel is, quote, the creatures outside looked from pig to man, from man to pig, and from pig to man again. But already it was impossible to say which was which. Is it Brave New World, Lord of the Flies, Charlotte's Web, or Animal Farm? <laughs> Somebody join the loyalty program. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everybody's in. 
Nobody said Brave New World. Six people said Lord of the Flies. Five people said Charlotte's Web. 34 people said Animal Farm. Orville, Orville and Wilbur. I think uh, Animal Farm. Napoleon, the pig. Animal Farm, the correct answer here. Uh, thank you for the donation, Rebecca. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Question number five. Although spelled incorrectly, what pretty popular band's name is French for good winter? Although spelled incorrectly, what popular band's name is French for good winter? Is it Bon Jovi, Bon Iver, The Bon Savants, or Bon Voyage? Remember Bob Jovi? I do. <laughs> Yeah, Chris, that's what I was just talking about. Uh, it's Bob Jovi over here. Uh, so seven people said Bon Jovi. One person said Bon Sivance. And 37 people said Bon Iver. Is that right? Bon Iver? Bon Iver. Bon, Iver. Uh, bon Jovi is just French for the Jovi. What? What's Bon mean? Good. Good. Good Jovi. Good Jovi. Uh, the correct answer is Bon Iver. Bon Iver. Yeah, but dudes call themselves bands, Chris. I'm with you. Uh, everybody's in. Every 82% of you got that dudes right. Dudes call themselves bands. His birth name is not Bonnie Bear. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Uh, here are the standings after the first five questions. Currently in first half ampersand spelled out ampersand. I never remember that full name. Spelled out half, yeah. Uh, ready for bed is in second. COVID, you're such a disease <laughs> in first. Oh my god. <laughs> the Angelica's already in. Winnie in fourth. Tied with M-dubs. Steffi Star in sixth. Santa just yammied in your handbag in seventh. Ah, woo, werewolf in lockdown in eighth. Hot dog time machine. I like that. In ninth. WCW White Claw Wednesday. Hey! I'm uh, <laughs> Aldi knockoff White Claw Wednesday. What do I got? Vista Bay. This That's is this good. is Aldi, right? Yeah. Yeah. Vista Bay, White Claw Wednesday. Uh, what else we have going on here? In 11th, currently JMO, team name in 12th, Cotton, Henny, Ninny, Cotton Header Ninny Muggins <laughs> in 13th. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, well, yeah, well, because he says Cotton Headed Ninny Muggins, right? I just, you know, I wanted to read it correctly. Yeah. Captain Cheesecake in 14th, Jen Sterna in 15th, Claire Farewell in 16th, Geralt of Trivia in 17th, Reindeer Cuddling in 18th. Oh, my God. <laughs> Emily tied with Team Finney in 19th, Emmy 21st, Memphis Reigns 22nd, Lightning Thunder Eat Crap in 23rd, Sorella Sand in 24th, Almost Masters, Taco Libre, The Bitch is Back, Jedi Snips, Let's Get Quizzical, and Mary B from 25th to 30th, The Mighty Pen. A poo poo and a pee pee in 32nd. It's over, Bananakin. Drinking my beer advent calendar <laughs> all at once or just one at a time. SF Curtis in 35th. Mama Lens in 36th. Miss LaRocca in 37th. Team Cream in 38th. Duck Horns in 39th. Cheese Please in 40th. Consider me Miles Davis in 41st. Mufasfa <laughs> in 42nd. May I see your manager? What's up? In 43rd, Albin in 45th, and Ashley Ann in 45th. Uh, so take those standings with a grain of salt. We're only four real questions in. Things can and most likely will change. I won't read all the team names every time, just this first time, so we can hear them all because you guys always come up with the best team names. So here we go. Question number six. Uh, in Tolkien's Lord of the Rings... Dwarf warrior Gimli is the son of which former companion of Bilbo? Who was the father of Gimli? Was it Oin, Gloin, Groin, or Thorin? Groin cuddling. <laughs> Emma, yeah, uh, that was his nickname. He was known as Doug. Cotton header and any muggins, just a typo. I just wanted to make sure I read it how you typed it in case that's what you meant to do, Becky. Uh, kind of like your typo e colon dash underscore. 
Nobody tosses a dwarf. Uh, one person said Oin. Four people said Groin. Twelve people said Thorin. Twenty-eight people said Gimli, son of Gloin. Gimli, son of Gloin. Good job. Uh, it's about time for a reread of Lord of the Rings. Question number seven. This one's for Gina, the popular HGTV home improvement series, Fixer Upper, featuring Chip and Joanna, centers around their work in which Texas city? I've asked this before. Uh, which Texas city is the show Fixer Upper set in? Is it San Antonio, Dallas, Austin, or Waco? When in doubt, choose groin. Shiplap, Texas. <laughs> is that the name of their like estate, Shiplap? Shiplap Farms? Yeah. That was really funny. Oh, is it Magnolia? Right there. Is that what? Magnolia I know that's the company, Farms, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Magnolia everything. I knew that. Magnolia Bakery. Magnolia. You just make everything, huh? They like they run an empire, which is what I wish we could do. <laughs> I just need to learn his dance moves. San Antonio. Two people said. Eight people said. Austin. Thirty-four people said. Waco. Thirty-four people were correct. Great job. You got points. Shit ton of ship lap. Ooh, I like that. All right, question number eight. What word for an ambiguity or an inadequacy in the law takes its name from a slit in a castle that was used for firing arrows at attackers? A little bit of history, a little bit of word quiz here. What word that you've used at some point for an ambiguity or inadequacy in the law takes its name from a slit that was left in a castle for archers to fire out of? Is it preemptory, caveat, loophole, or moot? hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let's see what we thought here. One person said preemptory. S two people said moot. Uh, no, it's like a cow's opinion. It's a moot point. Uh, 16 people said caveat and 26 people said loophole. The correct answer here is loophole. Loophole, a tiny slit from the outside. It's a tiny slit from the inside. Uh, it it uh, arcs out. You have much more that you can see and you can fire out at the attackers while staying pretty safe inside of your little loophole. Question number nine. What U.S. president was the first to have his official presidential portrait taken with a digital camera rather than having it painted? Who's the first U.S. president to have his official portrait taken with a digital camera rather than having it painted. Was it Ronald Reagan, Barack Obama, Jimmy Carter, or George W. Bush? Moo. Moo point. Oh, Christmas. Oh, I want to use a Spuds McKenzie guy. When W.C. Fields is on his deathbed reading a Bible... <laughs> Looking for loop. Oh, I love that, John. Stephanie, nice. Uh, five people said Reagan. Five people said Carter. 17 people said Obama. 19 people said George Dubs. Uh, the correct answer was, in fact, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Yeah. Uh, all right, question number 10. What singer-songwriter had a worldwide hit in 1995 titled Foolish games who had a hit in 1995 titled foolish games was it alanis morissette paula cole fiona apple or jewel never built to the top of my car all, <laughs> all anus morissette what's that from is that letter kenny yeah letter kenny all anus morissette <laughs> dick moranus d tom ass Thanks, parents who wouldn't let me watch MTV. But you got pop-up video then, Jess. At least you had pop-up video. 
Four people said Alanis Morissette. Nine people said Fiona Apple. Uh, 31 people said Jewel. And 31 people were correct. Great job. It was Jewel. Jewel's real name is Jewel. Ki yeah. Kilcher. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And she's American. For some reason, I thought she was Canadian. She's from Alaska. Ooh. All right. Uh, one more multiple choice question. Number 11. Uh, some art. Which French impressionist artist was famous for his exotic paintings of women and landscapes of Tahiti? <laughs> Uh, which French Impressionist was famous for exotic paintings of women and landscapes of Tahiti? Was it Paul Cézanne, Henri Matisse, Claude Monet, or Paul Gauguin? Did I pronounce everything perfectly? Beautiful. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, per my quick Google search, Jewel was born in Payson, Utah, uh, but she, had, she, she was raised in Homer, Alaska. The only movie and TV so, show that she's credited for on Google is Alaska, The Last Frontier. <laughs> oh, but she's been in a lot. Oh, probably her songs. Thank you guys for the donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, so, Art, you guys did pretty well here. Seven people said Saison. Seven people said Monet. 10 people said Matisse. 21 people correctly said Gauguin. Gauguin. How do you say it? Gauguin. Gauguin. I did it right. Gauguin. First. Gauguin. Gauguin. <laughs> Paul. 21 people said Paul. 21 people were correct. Uh, that is it for the multiple choice round. Here we go. Taking a look at the standings one more time. Currently in first, ready for bed. I'm with you. In second, Santa just yammied in your handbag. In third, Jen Sterna. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. What is Santa just yammied in your, your handbag? Is that from? What is that I'm from? I'm Googling. It's I'll Be Home From Christmas? Yeah, I'll Be Home. That's JTT. You know who Sounds Like would say it, though? Max from Happy Endings. <laughs> yes, he Santa does. just yammied in your handbag. Oh, my God. Totally. That's who I was hearing in my head. Max from Happy Endings. All right, uh, everybody is in, and we've looked at the standings, so things are going to change here. We're going to switch things up. Uh, let me get it ready here. Okay, uh, so we're done with multiple choice. If this happens to be your first time playing, uh, the questions are going to change slightly. The big difference is you'll still see the question. I'll read it to you. You're still going to have a timer of 25 seconds, but once I start the timer, Rather than having four options appear on the screen, you're going to see a text box and you have to type your answer in. So this is more akin to traditional trivia where you don't have options to choose from. You have to come up with the answer all on your own, which leads me back to something I should have said in the beginning. Please, no cheating, no Googling, no searching for answers. We're here to have fun. Don't ruin it by being somebody that's looking up answers online. Uh, we want to keep this fun and honest with, for everybody. So please don't do that. Um, if you don't know the answer, though, you're welcome to take a guess. You're still not going to lose any points if you are incorrect. So it doesn't make any sense not to answer at all. Um, as long as you... Oh, he just laid down on the monkey. We need to take a good picture of him and his... Yeah, we will. Um, as long as you answer something, you have a, guess, uh, a chance of getting some points. Um, even if you're not correct, if your answer is really especially funny or witty, I might give you some points. Um, might just throw you some taco bucks. So it, it pays to at least take a guess if you're not sure. Uh, the first five questions here that we're about to do are all from the same category. Uh, so what that means, we're still going to do one question at a time, but each question is unique. Uh, uh, is all They are all from the same category. Unlike the first 10 questions we did, these are not completely random. Um, the first category that we're doing is actually literature. So this can be a fun one. Uh, we have not done this exact round before, so let me explain it well for you because um, there's a little bit of connection you have to make in your brain. So what we're going to do for the next five questions, I'm going to give you the name of a literary character, and I want you to tell me the author that created them. 
So I'm not looking for the name of the book. I'm looking for the author that created the character. Uh, for example, and this, this example I'm about to use is probably tougher than most of the questions you're gonna get. If I said, uh, name the author that created the character of Ponyboy Curtis, your correct answer would be Essie Hinton from The Outsiders, but I'm looking for the author. Um, Hinton is fine in that example. You only need to give me the last name uh, unless I say differently, and no, I won't. The last name's gonna be fine for all five of these. So we'll do one at a time. Uh, you still have a timer, so here we go. Question number 12, name the character, name the author that created the character Tiny Tim. What author created the famous character Tiny Tim? Yeah, I want to try some random. I want to watch all the new Netflix ones and Hulu ones, which we already watched. How, yeah, but what was the Hulu one that I caught the end of that was amazing? With Chris and Stewart? Oh, Happiest Season. Happiest Season. I like that one. And Let It, like snow. Let it snow. Oh, God, I love And um, Le not Lilo Dash and Stitch. And Dash and Lily. Yeah. Tiny Tim is not a flattering name for a Harlequin <laughs> romance <laughs> novel character. Uh, we're going to watch Jingle Jangle. Yeah, yeah, it's on the list. Weekend. We have time this weekend. Uh, the correct answer. Oh, thank you. Love this round. Some love. Monday, I didn't get much love for the round, so hopefully it continues with this. Thank you. Uh, the correct answer, it, Mick Scrooge, uh, is Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. And 95% of you got that uh, correct. So cheers, hats of social. Ooh, I'm gonna need another drink. I'll think about it. Question thirteen: Name the character, the author who created the character Willy Wonka. Which author created Willy Wonka? Charles, I want to watch Scrooge this year. I don't watch it every year, um, but I do enjoy it. I, I feel like it's a it's a change of pace because it's still absolutely a Christmas movie obviously um, but it doesn't feel like a Christmas movie hitting you over the head that it's a Christmas movie um, I do enjoy Scrooge hey Olivia trainer what's up welcome to the chat uh, no way if you spelled it right as long as you're close you're gonna get points don't worry oh yeah we have a lot of ways you guys spelled this uh, I'm sure autocorrect got a couple of you doll 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 it's not wilder uh, but every single other person got this correct. Oh, hey, man, not much. How's uh, Potato and Dave? Uh, the correct answer is Rolled Doll. Rolled Doll. Am I saying it? Rolled Doll? Rolled Doll. His granddaughter is married to Jamie Cullum. Do you know really? Really? Fun fact. It's fun. Jamie Cullum. Oh, I haven't heard of that name in a while. Oh, he's great. Yeah, I love him. Question number four. Team. Who's the guy we don't like anymore? Ryan Adams? Ryan, uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we like Brian Adams. It's just a, you just need an additional, you need to be Canadian, and you need to be Brian. Brian Adams, yeah, yeah, we like Brian Adams. We don't like Ryan Adams. Question 14. Name the author who created the character Captain Ahab. Could you make me pretty much the same thing but what you said you were going to do? <laughs> Rolled doll is very problematic. That's not good. I didn't know that stuff. I, yeah, everything's problematic. <laughs> you know what I mean. Wrote a paper in college on this book. Uh, let's see. Mr. Pirate. I'm the captain now. <laughs> uh, that's yes. close. Oh, John. <laughs> fair, fair. Charles but, Dickens, oh, Tiny well. Tim Moby. <laughs> Social media. Uh, the correct answer here is Melville. Herman Melville. This is where we got um, the name for Starbucks. First mate, Starbuck. Starbucks. Uh, all right, number 15. Name the author that created The Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter. Thank you very much. I accept it. No, 
form of money. <laughs> so Taco got um, groomed today. Here, let's take this off. He got done up by Central Paw Grooming in Warrenville, Illinois. Always do the most amazing job. He's got his little Christmas bandana. And he's not going to lay down until Gina comes back. All right. Everybody is, yeah, haircut just today. And B's going tomorrow, Steph, I heard. Everybody is in. It wasn't Walt Disney. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take this. It wasn't Batman, although I'm sure he would like to take credit for it. The correct answer was Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll. He needs a sweater. Marabeth, he does own a couple sweaters, um, but our house is like 90 degrees right now. Our heat wouldn't stop running. I had to turn it off physically at the, at the boiler. It's like so hot in this house. Uh, all right. Everybody is in, and 88% of you got it right. Great job. That's a social. Cheers, everybody. One more in this round. Question number 16. Name the author who created the character Bridget Jones. This might be the toughest one of this round. <laughs> hey, Chris, you got your stitches out. Congrats. Everybody's in. It was a diary. My mom. I don't know. She might have read it. I don't think she wrote it. It was her diary. Bridget Jones. <laughs> Not right now. Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. Helen Field. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, the correct answer is. Oh, Jones. Yeah. Helen oh. Fielding. Helen Fielding. Uh, and good job. That is the final question of this round. So we will take a look. At the standings, once again, if you're in first, second, or third, you'll be on top. Everybody else can rotate through. Currently in first, ready for bed. In second, Santa just yammied. In third, Geralt of Trivia. Congratulations. Things can and most likely still will change. So don't lose hope if you're not at the top of the board. And also, don't forget, we have Taco Bucks for the top three places tonight. First, second, and third. But you can win some Taco Bucks with an especially witty or clever answer. So even if you're not sure of one of these questions, take a swipe type something in uh and thank you once again for the donations everybody you see those links down at the bottom venmo paypal zal we really really appreciate anything and everything you guys send every single time we play um so thank you thank you thank you don't forget we have trivia on friday as well 7 p.m general knowledge trivia and then next week full lineup and the office trivia next friday all right the next round is similar to this one in that you're still typing your answers in there are still five questions from one category but this is now a picture round this is a picture round so rather than asking you different questions i'm going to ask you the same question the only thing that's going to change is the picture if you identify what i'm asking you you're going to earn 250 points if you're wrong you earn zero but you don't lose anything so here we go the next i guess i should tell you what the round is uh the picture round we've never done this one i'm very excited this picture round is name the famous former or current world leader. I'm going to show you an individual who may be a president, a prime minister, a leader, uh, some influential figure in the world in some form or fashion, um, either currently or formerly. Uh, all you have to do is give me their name. Uh, last name will do just fine. Last name is okay. Uh, unless I specify differently. So here we go. Some of these might be tough, but I think overall these are, are, are pretty easy if you paid attention at all. Question 17. What is the name of this former or current world leader?
All right, all right, all right. Everybody's in. Let's see. Uh, I think the only difference that's going to prove here is the way you spelled it, and that's not going to matter. Every one of you are going to get points for this. Somebody actually just watched a 45-minute documentary on the Mandela Effect. All right, all right. Uh, we've talked about, was it Berenstein Bears versus the Berenstein Bears? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so as long as you typed an answer in and hit submit, you got points here. So congratulations. That is a double social. Double social. Cheers, everybody. Side note, self-promotion. If you don't yet have one, these glasses are available on our website. You can get it. It makes a great Christmas present for the trivia lover in your life. All right, question 18. Name this former or current world leader. Who is this? Steen, not stain. Steen, stein, stain. Ooh, all photos of Harry Styles. Emma, we can just do that on, on the next Zoom trivia we do. It'll just be an entire photo round. It won't even be questions. It won't be worth any points. It'll just be me showing you photos of Harry Styles for 10 minutes. Here's another photo of Harry Styles. Here's another photo of Harry Styles. Did you see the photo he posted today on Instagram? Looking fabulous. Eating a banana. Eating a banana. What it uh manly this is what manliness looks like. What did it say? Um like bring back manliness. Yeah, bring back manliness. Love it. Uh I'm gonna take um, first <laughs> Donald Trump on a windy day. Ambassador to Great Britain. No idea, but this tiramisu I'm eating is delicious. Well minus ten points for that, because I don't have tiramisu, and now I'm mad. Uh the correct answer is Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, yeah, what a schmutz. Question 19. Name this former or current world leader. Alex McClain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Is the other half of it Zac Efron gifts? Yeah, middle we'll do Zac Efron, we'll do Harry Styles. And, oh, God, why can't I think of her last name? Lily Reinhardt. It'll be Zac Efron, Harry Styles, and Lily Reinhardt. We'll just rotate through. Uh, Jess, the screen could freeze now. So my one of my best friends in the world, uh, an individual who stuck up, uh, stood up in our wedding, is this man's doppelganger. They, they could be identical twins. I play yeah. D&D with him every single week. Uh, so Justin Thoreau, that's a different Justin, but that's close. I'm going to give you points if you put Thoreau. That's okay. Justin Trudeau, he's dreamy, especially with his dad beard he's got going on. COVID beard. Justin Trudeau is the correct answer, and almost all of you got this. Uh, Stephanie, Alex, Alex McLean. I'll show you some side-by-side -side pictures. Show beard pics. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's a good beard. That's a good beard. I'm here for That one, not so much. Nope. Steph, I don't remember standing up next to Justin Trudeau. Oh. Who, Ali? <laughs> what a guy. All right, back to it. Question 20, name this former or current world leader. This is the exception to the last name. I'm going to need his name. What is the name of this individual? Show beard pics. Yeah, just show pictures of ZZ Top, Frank Beard. Quarantine King. Here's a picture of me with Justin Trudeau. <laughs> you goofball. All right, everybody's in. Uh, hubba, hubba. All right, I'll put this individual in our picture round rotation. 
Watch it. We have watched the two popes. I enjoyed that. Oh yeah, that was Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Somebody gave me the full name. I love it. I was just looking for the Pope name. Uh, oh, and somebody also just put it there. Thank you. Uh, Pope Francis. Francis. Uh, Julie, I did the mustache round just a couple weeks ago, I think. Although I'm sure Jason has had that idea as well. All right, final one in our former or current world leader round. What is the name of this former or current world leader? Time has stopped for me. Yeah, I feel you. Julie, I have uh, ornaments coming for you. And I believe um, Stephanie, somebody else ordered ornaments. I have ornaments coming out for people. Somebody's nephew was named Francis, not for El Papado. Okay. I like the name Francis. Francis. I don't know you say it like that. France. Oh, it was the Chris B trivia. Oh, wow. I was about to say somebody has a really good memory, and then I realized it was Chris B. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I would hope you would remember it. That's funny. Uh, all right, everybody's in. This is not Margaret Thatcher. Uh, it's not Theresa May. Lady from Germany. Marco. Markle, Germany's head gal, technically. Thanks for the non-help, hubby. Not Madeline Albright. Aw, <laughs> Leslie's friend. The correct answer is Angela Merkel. Merkel. Angela Merkel. Uh, Julie, I will do a beard round. That's a great idea. Yes, please. Will you write that down somewhere? Yeah. I put all my pencils over there. Got it was friend. a dumb idea. Merkel. All right. Everybody is in. Everybody has answered this picture round. So let's take a look at the standings. Santa just yam it in your handbag now in first. We got Geralt of Trivia in third. And Sorella Sand in. Uh, Geralt is in second. Sorella Sand is in third. Congratulations. Hubby was not helpful. And I wanted everyone to know. Ah. Amy, I wanted to show you. I just. Uh, I, when we moved from downstairs to upstairs, I moved a bunch of stuff around, uh, and I, this was on the wall before, but I've had it in a pile of papers, and I just put this back on the wall. I, I don't know if Bella's with you, but I just found this. Remember? It's the that. sweetest thing I in the world. Bag of Tricks, an American musical. So sweet. Now it sits right up here. We're saving that forever. Yeah, it sits right next to my Hamilton pencils that Gina got me for my birthday. Aww. Just... Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, everybody, if this happens to be your first time playing, let me explain what's about to happen. The final round of trivia is similar to the first round in that there are 10 questions that are not meant to be related to each other at all. They are just 10 random questions. But unlike the first round these are not multiple choice you're gonna have to type your answer in you will not have a b c d to choose from they are worth 300 points a piece though so make sure you're being honest no googling no cheating no searching for answers taco will see you keep it fair keep it honest so we all have fun we'll do one at a time all you have to do is type the answer in, hit submit some of these are simple some of these are tough but they're all gonna be a bunch of fun here we go question 22 what name was given to the sheep that was the first successfully cloned mammal from an adult cell. What was the name of the first cloned sheep? This happened in the late 90s. And I know before somebody tells me that's not a sheep in the GIF, <laughs> but what an incredible GIF. I'll always remember this name because of a famous person. Yep. And someone in my family was Oh, I just saw Amy. Thank you. I know. Yeah, we won't say a, si a single thing. Night, Albin. All right. Somebody said Miss Dolly, a queen. I know all about her. Uh, the correct answer was Dolly. Dolly the sheep. I want to say 1996, 1997. Uh, born July 5th, 1996. Good job, Ollie. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, eighty-six percent of you got that right, so that's a social. Cheers. Number twenty-three, American mobster Al Capone was sentenced to eleven years in federal prison for what crime? Al Capone sentenced to eleven years in federal prison for what crime? Becky, Dolly, and I have the same birthday. Nice. Thank you so much, Mirabeth. Thank you for the donation. Aww, thank, you. thank you so much. Same thing that we'll get for. Yep. Yeah. He was just using those uh, arrow slits in castles. You know, no big deal. Using those loopholes. All right. Evasion, evasion. The IRS always gets you. Tax evasion, 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 taxes. Yep. Correct answer was tax evasion. Tax evasion. How about this, Jeff? <laughs> Scarface. I know what I said what in the chat. What is this? <laughs> All right. Question 24. Uh, I told myself I was going to look up how to pronounce it. Suriname. Suriname? Suriname, I believe. It's a country located on which continent? You have a one in seven shot. Suriname. S-U-R-I-N-A-M-E. Is a country located on which continent? Suriname. Yeah. Suriname. Suriname. All right. Suriname. I got it. Avoision. <laughs> Suriname. <laughs> if it's Antarctica, I'm going to be so. I believe they speak French, but I could be wrong. Dutch? I just Googled it. Apparently, the entire population speaks uh, Strainen and Dutch. Nice, Sarah. I did not know that. That is good trivia. All right, everybody's in. It's not Australia. It's not Africa or Asia. It is South America. A lot of people thought it was in Asia, uh, but it is South America. Whoops. All right, question number 25. Who was the first golfer to win the Masters Tournament two years in a row? Who was the first golfer to uh, They speak Dutch. I won the Geography B in 1995, so I know things. Nice, Sarah. Golf is the second worst sport. Becky, what is the first worst? <laughs> Bandy? You didn't even know Bandy before Monday. Oh, my. But she's sharp. <laughs> All right. First individual to win the Masters tournament two years in a row. Let's see. A lot of different guesses here. Correct answer is Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas, the correct answer. Great job, everybody. 47% of you got this. I don't think I missed any here. Jack Nicholas. <laughs> All right, question. Uh, that's 25, so we'll take a look at the standings. Take a look, see where you're at. First, second, and third, Santa just yammied in your purse, Sorella Santa, and ready for bed.
Yeah, bandy is a sport that I just made up on Monday. <laughs> I added Wikipedia entries. I put some videos online of fake sports playing. <laughs> that would be the long con. All right, six questions left. Question 26. Here we go. Question 26. The novel Don Quixote was written by which famous Spanish novelist who wrote Don Quixote? Taco, you're on camera. Oh, Chris, that sounds like my whole life in a nutshell. I've read this and don't know. Okay, Taco. Yeah, take them off. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. It is not Inigo Montoya who killed my father. Prepare to die. That's close. That's close. A Spaniard. Close. Uh, great, no idea, Alberto Del Rio. No, Miguel de Cervantes. Cerv <laughs> Taco is a reindeer cuddling. <laughs> oh my God, gross, and yes. Uh, Vicky, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. If anybody donated and I missed it, I apologize, uh, but I do try to keep a lookout. Thank you, Vicky, so much for the donation. All right, question 26. Seven. There's a toss, uh, a, a gimme here. Lambeau Field is the home field of which National Football League team? We got some uh, fans maybe near here. Are monkeys Taco's favorite animal? Ooh. It might be. Oh, he also likes cats. Yeah, it could be cat. Yeah, I'm wondering if Chris and Amy know this one. <laughs> if anybody's going to miss it. I love this gift. Did you know it's actually me? <laughs> no, like, that looks like how you were dancing at the beer fest. Oh, God. Uh, it's not. The Green Bay Merman? <laughs> Packers. Aww, Packers. Pa oh, yeah. Packers, it's not the Steelers. Gross, but Harry Styles' favorite team. Ooh, I like that. Why? Hey, you know what? They like uh, we we watch their soccer. They yeah, watch our football. I guess. Choice, no <laughs> uh, the correct answer is the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers. Ninety-five percent of you. So that's a social. Cheers, everybody. He has the logo tattooed on himself. She ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. That's a real thing. Can we see it in this photo? I like this photo. Yeah, that we, one. Yeah, we can see it. Like. We can see it in this photo. Uh, it's a little bit tougher, but you know, this is probably the one to to, to check for. It's right there. Weird. Good job. Did I nice, Emma. Nice person. You knew it. I'm sure that's All right. Question twenty-eight. Wait, he is or is not? He says he's not. Shoot. Uh, Atlantic City is a popular entertainment destination located in what state? What state would you find Atlantic City? Oh, Brett Favre is trash. That's what Seth just said. Literally, yeah. he's oh, trash. He's trash, yeah. Seth, you know. Yeah, Brett Favre is horrible. The best thing he ever did was a cameo in something about Mary. And that's saying a lot. I mean, he was a great quarterback. I, you can't deny the records, but he's a trash man. He, he got he had some wiener photos. I have zero interest. In oh yeah, yeah. That's a picture I'm not gonna pull up on the trivia stream. Oh my gosh! All right, Farve cuddling. All right, everybody, <laughs> Farve cuddling. There you go, Kathleen. There's your trivia name next time, Farve cuddling. Uh, every single person got this right. This is a double social. Atlantic City is in New Jersey. New Jersey. Good job. Rats. 
All right, question 29. The Great Red Spot is a gigantic storm located on which planet in our solar system? Video he did with the super fans. Yeah, Steph, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. The Bears. Oh, Chris Farley. Yeah. I sent Bobby K the Chris Farley dancing with uh, Patrick Swayze gift today. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? So, as a child with anxiety, the idea of this existing yeah. terrified me. Yeah, the whole. The Great Red Spot is the size of, like, a number of Earths, right? Um, yeah, it is big enough to engulf the entire Earth. Uh, the correct answer, Bella helped. Hey, good job, Bella. It was Jupiter. Jupiter. Um, here's something to help Jess's anxiety. It's not going to help it. Yeah, I know. I can tell by your voice. Uh, oh, I just want to get this photo here. Yeah, there's the size of the great red, red spot compared to the Earth. The Earth would fit inside of it. That's how big Jupiter is. Yeah, I like that. It's insane. Good job, Zeus. All right. Question 30. Bronze is an alloy... Consisting primarily of what two elements? I need two answers here. Type them both in. What two elements do you combine to make bronze? Chris Farley sat pantsless on my mother-in-law's couch. Was this at Bottom Lounge, Julie? Ooh, Detroit. I want to see the photo of his junk on the couch. Personally. All right, everybody is in. A lot of you got this right. A lot of you spelled it horribly wrong, but you're getting points. Uh, it's not iron and copper. Oops. Uh, it is copper and tin. Tin and copper give us bronze. Uh, yeah, bronze is iron, uh, is tin and copper. All right, final multiple choice question, number 31. The period of European history that lasted from the 14th to the 17th century is known uh, commonly as what? Period of European history from the 14th to the 17th century is known as what? Can you tell based on all the videos I've been watching? <laughs> All right, here's another one that's fun to spell. Uh, the correct answer here is the Renaissance. The Renaissance. 14th century, 17th century is known as the Renaissance. Good job. Uh, about 70% of you got that right. So that is the final question of the evening. All we have left to do is... <laughs> Look at the standings. Um, and we are going to do that here in just a second. Before we do, let me just mention, we, as I've said before, we have some fun stuff coming up this week, Friday, 7 p.m. We have general knowledge trivia, just like tonight. All new questions, but a whole lot of fun. Uh, next week, next week, next week, next week. Uh, I want to pull this up so I can show you or tell you correctly. Uh, we will have general knowledge trivia again next week on Monday at 7 p.m. and on Wednesday at 7 p.m. and then on Friday the 11th we will be doing the office trivia so I've mentioned that before make sure you RSVP on Facebook so that you get information uh, as we're sending it out but I didn't mention this earlier I do want to say it now we will also have another um, event open to the public on Friday the 11th and it is 
Pixar Trivia. That's sponsored by the Mount Prospect Public Library. It's Pixar Trivia. So questions over all your favorite Pixar films. Um, that is 7 o'clock on the 11th. So if you're not doing anything, which I hope all of you aren't, you're hanging out at home, on the 11th, hang out with us. 7 o'clock, play Pixar Trivia. 9 o'clock, play The Office Trivia. We'll have a whole bunch of fun. We have prizes up for grabs for both of those. So hang out with us. Um, if you're interested, I didn't mention this earlier. This is the last thing I'll say before we look at the standings. Uh, I'm going to make myself big for a second to let you know. If you guys are interested, if you'd like to play some trivia with your friends and your family and with nobody else, or if you'd like to play a specific type of trivia that we're not hosting anytime soon, you can book Bigger Tricks Entertainment for a private event. Um, and I'm only bringing this up now because we have very, very limited slots available through the end of the year. Um, we would love to host something for you guys, whether it's just general knowledge trivia like we did tonight, or The Office, or Friends, or or Harry Potter. Uh, we have a whole bunch of fun stuff that we could do for you via Zoom or YouTube like we're doing now. Um, but if you're interested, reach out sooner rather than later because I will say we don't have many dates and times left um, through the end of the year. Uh, but we would still love to help you guys out. Obviously, this is going to be a really tough winter. And we're going to be here for you publicly with these events. But we will also be there if you'd like to book something privately. Uh, you can find information for that on our website at bagoftricks.com. Or you can email me directly. It's just Ali, A-L-I, at bagoftricks.com. Send me a message. Uh, send me an email. Send us a message on Facebook if you want to. Uh, and we'll get back to you. But, all right, with all of that said, everybody, here are the final standings. I think Gina's about to do a draw. <laughs> a drum roll on the low top the floor top. Followed by the, the ride symbol. That was the closest drum to me. Honestly, that was amazing. And I don't know how to play the drum. Honestly, that was everything I could have hoped for. Um, no, I loved it. Here are the final standings. In first place, Sorella Sand. Great job. We might just have to do some Game of Thrones trivia. In second place, Geralt of Trivia. And in third, Ready for Bed. All right, everybody. If you're in first, second, or third... Uh, if you can, shoot me your um, Bag of Tricks loyalty number here in the chat box. If not, I'll look it up. Um, but if you can, make my life easy. Shoot it over so I can give you your taco bucks right away. Um, and other than that, we are all set for tonight. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for the support. Thank you so much for the donations tonight. Uh, and we will see you by no later than Friday for trivia. But otherwise, have a good night. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Stay home. And take care of each other. Bye, everybody.